What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I'll be reviewing a beer from 903 Brewers and they are out of Sherman, Texas and this is their triple berry slushy. So they're calling this one a blueberry, a raspberry, blackberry, vanilla and lactose Berliner Weiss Ale that comes in at 6.2% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. I don't know exactly how old this can is because it does not have a canned on date, but the first drop of 903 beers we got here in the Buffalo, New York area, I think was back in the middle of March. So this can is at least two months old, if not three or four months old. We don't know because it does not have a canned on date, but it should be fine with a beer like this. I would just like to see the canned on date because on the can here, it says they have, they have, uh, four different steps. First, it says, please read, this beer is packed with fruit, much more than we've ever put into a beer and must be cared for unlike other beers. Number one, keep this beer cold, which it has been. Number two, turn over once before serving to redistribute uh, fruit, but do not shake. We will do that. Three, drink fresh. I have no idea if I'm doing that. And then number four, enjoy and repeat with the next flavor. Well, anyway, this should be fine. But anyway, uh, so 903 showed up here for the first time, like I said, back in the middle of March. We just got another drop of their stuff in the past week, week and a half. And they do all the crazy fruit uh, smoothie sours and adjunct um, laden like pastry styles and whatnot. I picked this one up because I love berries and they have three of my favorite berries in here. So I thought it'd be a fun one. So anyway, let's give it a pour. We'll do a one turn like that. Hopefully it doesn't spew everywhere. If it does, whatever. But they said to do it. So I'm listening to what they're saying. And of course that went everywhere. So... We'll see. Anyway, let's give it a pour here. I'm using the froth uh, glass just because I don't use this a lot. I did keep this upside down in my fridge. And this is in like the 12 um, fluid ounce, uh, I guess, energy drink can, you would say. I do have paper towels down here that I will grab and wipe off this table because it literally went everywhere when I cracked it open. And it's funny, I can see like little seeds from the berries in the, uh, in the droplets on my table. Isn't that insane? Well, this went everywhere. Happens, I guess, you know, and we'll throw this off camera. So yeah, this is pouring out. Like I'm not gonna pour the rest in right now. I'll put this over here and pour it in as we get further. I just wanna be able to show you guys the, the beer and whatnot. But yeah, that has a very deep purple color. Um, definitely looks like those three uh, berries are in there. Hold it up to the light, can't see through it. It's very murky, it's turbid. Um, had about a finger of like this light pink colored head that is now displayed to a thin film. You can see the pectin and the fruit puree remnants on the rim of the glass. Um, looks like it's pretty carbonated and it's you, like you can just see it kind of looks like a smoothie, more so than you're gonna probably see on camera, but for me, definitely smoothie S. Let's get a nose. Wow, that smells fantastic. It smells like fresh mixed berries. Now, they have, I believe, said in here that there are blueberry, raspberry, and blackberry. For sure, 100% getting the raspberry. And I just bought all three of those, believe it or not. I uh, just finished them up yesterday. Been buying more berries lately. But I had blueberries, blackberries, and uh, raspberries. They were like three for 10, something like that for the containers. And of what I had, the blueberries were actually my favorite of those three. The raspberries were a little bit under-ripened. And the blackberries were good, and I usually like them the most. But for some, for some reason, the blueberries were a little bit sweeter. But anyway, this smells like straight up raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries mixed. It, it, it smells like a mixed berry smoothie. The lactose, giving it a little bit more of like a vanilla tinge. There's vanilla in here, but I think it's bumping it up. So it gives me almost like creamsicle-esque kind of vibes to it. It smells more sweet than tart, but I feel like this is going to have a decent tartness to it. Hopefully anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much what it says. It's a triple berry slushy, right? This is a triple berry uh, fruit smoothie. Uh, sour beer, and I'm pretty much getting everything I should out of the nose, so hopefully it's the same as with the taste. So cheers, everyone. Ooh. So first things first, this is actually like higher side of tart, lower side of sour, and it's only 6.2%. I'm getting a little bit of alcohol in the back of the palate. If you just heard that, that was actually my throat making that noise, not my stomach. Probably reacting to what I just drank there. Um, all right, body and mouthfeel. This isn't as thick as I thought it was gonna be based on the style and how it looks in the glass. It's like higher side, the medium, lower side of full. So it's only 6.2%, but it is one of these, you know, crazy fruit pureed beers where you're anticipating like a thicker mouthfeel. And this is a bit thin for what I was anticipating. I think it works fine because I'm enjoying it from a um, 
flavor standpoint, but also uh, because it makes it a little bit more refreshing in general. The body on this one, it's soft, but there is a there's like a mild to moderate carbonation. Actually, I'll take that back. Not as soft as, uh, as I thought. It's more moderate carbonation, so there is a crispness here there, but it has like a little bit of a smooth, creamy thing going on. My mouthfeel are fine. They're not fantastic, but they're good. The taste, yeah, I'm for, forefront, 100% blackberries leading the way. So in the nose, I was saying this is more raspberry, blackberries in the taste. Passes through, a little bit, uh, a touch of the, the raspberry and the blueberry, but they're not as sweet as I was anticipating based on how it smelled, how it looks. It's more tart and acidic and kind of like if the, you had those uh, fruits under ripen. And again, the raspberries I had were a little bit more under ripen as I ate them. And you could tell they're a little bit more seedy, more tart, a little acidic, it wasn't as sweet. Where the blueberries were a little bit over ripen and they just had a burst of like sweetness that I don't get a lot of times with blueberries, probably because I'm eating them more under ripen or not fully ripe, right? Ripe, right? <laughs> Halfway through the palate, there's a pop of like a vanilla kind of um, taste that, and it's not big, but you notice it. So it gives you a slight creamsicle kind of feel to this one. And then the back of the palate, this finishes semi to full on dry. No real bitterness to speak of, but it's dry and it's like moderately acidic. And because it's already like a higher tart and lower sourness, this drinks more like an actual fruit beer or fruit, uh, you know, fruited sour as opposed to just one of these fruit smoothie uh, beverages that sometimes don't even taste like beer. This actually does taste like beer. It's almost like a slight doughy uh, kind of essence to the base beer, but it's very slight. Here's the thing though. While I appreciate the tartness, while I appreciate the acidity, while I appreciate it's not overly sweet, and I do like the fact I get the base beer, it doesn't seem as I'm getting as much from the berries as I would think in a beer like this, because I've had a lot of like mixed berry, heavily fruited sours, or just like straight on blueberry or raspberry or strawberry or blackberry, any kind of berry, right? And a lot of times that'll be full on what I taste in here. I guess the berries are a little bit more subdued to some degree. It's still pretty good and I'm enjoying it. And the thing here about this is, uh, a lot of times I say, I only want to drink half of this can, right? Usually it's a 16 ounce can. I'm like eight ounces and I'm, that's like the max I want. So I'm going to finish the rest of this. This is not overly sweet. It's not too much. It's not over the top uh, with all the, the, you know, different adjuncts and whatnot. But at the same time, the flavors aren't wowing me like some of those beers do. I do appreciate the 12 fluid ounce can. Problem is, I hate the look of the energy drink cans, but I do appreciate them putting it in a 12 fluid ounce can because I'd much rather buy these in a 12 ounce can as opposed to a 16 because more often than not, I'm only going to want to drink, you know, six to eight ounces and I'm not wasting the rest or I feel like I have to share the beer with somebody. I can probably take it down. Like this, if this was a 16 ounce can, even though I'm enjoying it, it's still tough to drink the entire thing on your own. So um, I guess the final conclusion for me, 6.2%. Um, as I continue to drink on it, that's kind of dissipating. I think it was maybe just the shock to the palate. I don't know. I really don't taste the alcohol as much anymore. Not even a warming in the chest. So that was probably just something on the initial taste. But final conclusion on this one, the drink abilities here, I appreciate the fact that I do get the base beer and there is like a firm tartness here, low sourness. I guess the con to this one is that the, the flavors aren't popping as much um, for something that I would love to see the berries shine here. And while I do get the berries and they're obvious, they're just not as impactful as other beers I've had within this style that have those three berries or any of those three berries. So um, I'm not like overly impressed by this one, but I also think it's pretty well done. So a triple berry slushy, my first beer from 903 Brewers. I have absolutely no issues whatsoever in giving this beer right here a, uh, we'll go, go four out of five. I think it's the best I can do on this one. Um, I think at the end of the day, this is a damn solid, enjoyable you know, fruit smoothie, slushy, uh, fruited sour, but I've had better. And um, they had a couple other ones I wanted. There was like a white chocolate raspberry cheesecake one that sounded good, but I didn't want those because I feel like they're going to just be too sweet, where I felt like this one might not be that sweet. And, I, and they nailed it if, in terms of like the actual base beer coming to the forefront, not being overly sweet. I just think I want a little bit more flavor. Um, but I think I might pick something else from them up at some point here in the near future. We will see. Price point availability, $6 for that can. Remember, it's a 12 fluid ounce can. So if you go by that, that's $2 uh, for every four fluid ounces. So if you put this in a 16 ounce can, you're talking $8 a can.
that's at the higher end I would like to pay for these. Um, so it's not great value or anything, but it's kind of in the realm of these beers that you see in Distro, whether it's 450 North or Mortalis. You might even be paying more, like here, 450 North for a long time for 10 to $13 a can. I know some folks say Mortalis around them are nine, ten dollars a can. So um, this is at the higher end of the range I'd like to pay for these beers. And availability, I have no idea with 903. I just know that. Here in the Western New York area, we started seeing their stuff in mid-March of 2023, and we just got another drop here in early May of 2023, and I'd imagine we'll see more of their stuff going forward. So I might try something else from them um, that's not a sour, maybe one of their pastry stouts, maybe something that's just a normal beer. That'd be nice. Anyway, if anybody has had anything from 903 or have had this beer specifically, post in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you thought about it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.